Thank you. Well, this Thanksgiving could prove to be a big treat for stargazers. Comet Ison is going to be entering the most difficult part of its journey, skimming the sun's upper hot atmosphere. And if it makes it, Comet's going to put on a spectacular show. Joining us now live is NASA scientist Alex Young with more on what the comet uh, needs to do in order to survive. Alex, thanks for being with us this morning. So what does this comet need to do in order to survive the heat of the sun? Well, uh, fortunately, you know, this, the comets are big chunks of ice and rock, and this one happens to be big enough. We've seen comets go by the sun before, and this one is big enough that we have a strong, uh, we, strong possibility that it's going to make it. This thing has taken a journey f of over 5 million years from the outer solar system, and when it makes its closest approach, more than likely it will survive, but there is the chance that the intense heat, radiation, and even the gravity from the sun could break it up. But either way, it's going to be a really spectacular show. Who gets to see this, Alex, uh, assuming it makes it past the sun? Well, uh, while it's taking its journey around the sun, we'll be watching it with spacecraft that were normally designed to look at the sun, in particular the Solar Dynamics Observatory. But once it's finished its journey around the sun, as soon as we get to the beginning of December, we're going to start to see it in the early morning. And each day it's going to be higher and higher in the sky until it eventually becomes more of a nighttime object. All right, Alex, thank you so much. And by the way, anybody ever tell you you look a little like Mr. Clean? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've been Mr. Clean for Halloween a few times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much. We'll check in with you again as we find out more about ISIS.